So my name is Rodney Mullen. I've been skating 43 years and uh, I guess uh, I invented the kickflip. So this is early skate park days. I was a kid in Florida and uh, there was a guy named Alan Gelfin who had started doing kind of like these sweep ollies for sure on vert. It's the only time I saw him. I went home, started clicking away because it was an extension of regular kind of a freestyle trick that I've been doing, like this transfer from tail to nose. So it was not long after that, like I was just getting, like learning how to boost up ollies. And I just spazzed out. And all I did was kick the board from under me. And uh, cause you know, when you land, light comes up between your legs. And so I spazzed out, pushed the board away from me. And it's like, it was just mocking me. It flipped and landed on its wheels. Truly that, that sense of being mocked, you know? So I'm like, all right. And so I started going after it. Now, mind you, old school freestyle, they were, the term kickflip been around a long time. And that was, like you stand it side to side. So if the board goes long ways, it's totally unstable, like ridiculous. And you kind of gripped and you flipped it with your foot like that. So that had been going on. Like they had different variations called M80s, different ones in freestyle for like use. So I remember, all right, taking it and doing early ones. And it didn't take what, it took an afternoon or something, you know, for you're like gonna land the first one. You landed it the first day you tried it? I mean, just mind you, I had already had all those like years. So just regular kickflips in me, it's just spazzing out. Like, you know, you can still do on an off day, right? I was basically at pro level already. And I was used to spinning freestyle tricks, like two and three quarters. Like, you see what I mean? Like you get that stuff embedded, the rhythms of it. And, uh, and so it didn't take long at all no one really knew how they were flipping. So when I first started doing it around people, they were like, how did it flip? How did it flip? So people started calling it magic flip. So that was where it came from. I knew once I started going down that trick, like that was just open season. So as soon as all these really began and then that the first flip, like which came very soon after, again, all from a mistake, you realize like, oh, flip that way. Okay, what about the other way? He'll flip like just the jump from 360 shove to 540 shove, 540 shove to 720 shove. To me, like that took a while, right? Compared to a cake flip, it's like, ah, I'd already been skating. You know what I mean? I already had that freestyle stuff in me. So that sense of timing and that to me, and I still like, go by that whenever I'm trying to trick, it's you get used to the rhythm of it and landing, putting your feet back on. I always learn tricks and pieces that way. I don't want to make it seem like a big deal because like it's cool it turned into something, but Truly, I mean, it was just an extension, like all that stuff, kick flip, 360 flip, heel flip, like all that stuff, all it is is they're just variations. And if anything, I can look at myself and think, man, I only got like a few tricks and then the rest are just variations. And to me, like the more like accustomed you get to skating, the more nuanced you get with it, you realize how many things are related. Even Ollie's like, it's not like a big deal. Like the idea of getting from your wheels click to nose, basically like no stall on flat. That little transfer trick was like built in that seesaw motion. So again, kick flips, that's why I catch them with the back foot. Like all, all that stuff was ingrained. So again, it was just natural. There wasn't much thought to it. To me, it was just, ah, it's just another trick. And I knew that there was more to it. Like it was a lot more fun because even the old school freestyle stuff, like I wasn't, even though that's what I was sponsored for, that's what I did. Things were a lot more structured back then. When you got on teams, it was about contest results and it was way more rigid than it is today. So basically if I wasn't doing kind of my job as a freestyler, then and moving forward then i wasn't doing my job were you aware that you were the first to ever do it i mean you never know right there can be some kid in madagascar with but i knew that i i because i was just stuck on the farm back then and uh, i knew that stuff was unfolding real fast so i would have been surprised to see by that time i was so yearning for something to get out of the regular freestyle version of pogo's rail tricks like the things we associate I wanted out of that so badly. So to me, this was just an open door. And for me, it was just fun to pursue. Never would have thought that, I mean, it had no home, if that makes sense. It wasn't freestyle, it wasn't anything. It certainly wasn't vert. And street skating had not yet come around. And then street skating was hitting and Mark and Nottis were doing their thing. Like that's when that stuff found a home, but it was at least a couple of years when no one gave a rats. Like ollies and stuff were just a better way to get up curbs. And nobody gave a rats, which is cool, you know? Because it keeps you humble and it's like, ah, thank goodness for street because I would have, I mean, all this stuff would have just been gone like so many freestyle tricks. Had street never come around, like 
what do you do next? Like add a shove it to it because freestyle shoves had been around a long time. So that naturally is like varial flip and then 360 flip. That's why, again, it seems like it's a big deal because it's a staple. But back then, like, trust me, it's just like, ah. I did a 360 flip and brought it to some contest, come out west. No one noticed. It just looked like a 360 shove. So I was like, wow, okay. So will people see if a double 360 flip? The point is, is like double 360 flips were just a hope to someone noticing a 360 flip because no one even cared. And then years later, thank goodness, Jason Lee comes out making them look so crazy stylish, you know, bigger boards. That's where they started getting hit. That's what weaves us all together. You know, like if it weren't for Jason and these guys pioneering, like adapting it, maybe it wouldn't have gone anywhere. Do you have a favorite kickflip of all time? There's so many. Dustin Dolan, man, I still see that kickflip crooks. Like, to me, look, I'm just clicking around doing my thing. Skating's giving me everything I have and more. And the older I get, the more I value and connect with, oh my God, that's Eric Costin. Like, I still get nervous when I'm around Eric Costin. That's one thing that's cool about skating, like compared to so many other sports, you know? Like, we don't have cheerleaders. And the fact that here I am with you, like, to me, that's that has significance. That's what matters. The way it connects us.